Hey guys, this video is going to be um, a little bit different than what you guys have been working on. We are going to talk about circle graphs and I know or I'm going to assume that most of you do not have a protractor at home. If you do, I would strongly suggest using it. I'm also going to uh, attach a video on Google Classroom for you to learn how to use a protractor. I know it's been a while since we've done that. If you don't have a protractor, there is a protractor app. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to use, but I do want your circle graphs to be as accurate as they can be. Um, I know you guys are doing e-learning and at home, so it's a little bit more difficult, but I will also put down below in the comments which app that I downloaded so you guys can look at it if you want to use that. I will also, again, um, attach a video to know how to use a protractor. It's not super difficult. The app is super easy if you want to go that route. So just know that this is going to be a little bit more difficult because you do have to draw a circle graph and it needs to be accurate um, as much as possible. Okay, So this is our first example that we're going to just talk about for a minute and then we will talk about how to put this information into a circle graph or into a circle chart um, and being able to display that information. So it says the students at SJCA were asked to identify their favorite vegetable. The table shows the results of the survey. So if you look at the table, it has vegetables and it says carrots, broccoli, beans, and then other. And then the percent of students that answered carrots, broccoli, beans, and other. So number one asks, how do you know each student only picked one favorite vegetable? The way that I would know that is if I could add all of those percents up and they would equal 100. So if I add these up really quick, and I'm just gonna add them from the chart. Um, I know seven plus three is 10, and then I know another five and five is also 10, so that would be 20, and then two plus four is six, plus two is eight, plus one is nine, plus one is 10. So it does add to 100. Um, so it gives me 100%. 100% tells me that everybody answered. There was 100% participation. Had it been 101%, that maybe would have meant a student answered twice um, or 99, that not every student answered. But 100% means that every student answered um, at least one time, okay, or only one time. Then number two is asking if 200 students participated in the survey, how many students preferred carrots? So I would be finding 45% of 200. So remember the word of means to multiply. I can't multiply by a percent. I can multiply by a decimal though. So I'm gonna change that 45% to a decimal and it's just moving the decimal point over, so it would become 0.45 times 200. So I'm just gonna go up here and do 200 times 45. Five times zero is zero, and then zero again, then five times two is 10. I'm gonna add my, oops, sorry. Gonna add my zero, then four times zero is zero, four times zero again is zero, and then four, times two is eight. So when I add this together, it looks like I have 9,000. Um, but remember, and I forgot to put it there, I just put it there, that your 45 was a decimal. So you have two numbers behind your decimal point in your problem. So I need two behind the decimal point in my answer. So this is equal to 90 students. If you wanna put the 0 .00 or 0, .0 um, either way is fine. So this is kind of just setting it up and we're gonna use the same information from this table. So on the next slide, you guys are gonna see the 45%, 23%, 17% and 15% again when we go to make our circle graph with this. So looking at this next slide, we are going to learn how to put this information into a circle chart. So first of all, a circle, We've been talking about degrees with angles. 
We've talked about right angles being 90 degrees. We've talked about um, the straight lines being 180 degrees. So a circle is 360 degrees. Um, so in order to fill in this circle, I can't just randomly put lines. Um, I know it may look like that's what's going on, but it's not. You actually have to measure out the angle that's being used to accurately portray the actual amount of people that in this case had carrots as their favorite vegetable. So before I do anything with a circle, I need to find the degrees that I'm going to be using. So I'm taking 45% of 360 degrees. So just like in the last example where we found 45% um, of 200 students and found that that was 90 students, we're taking 45% of 360 degrees to find how much 45% is. So I'm gonna find a new degree and then that tells me how to use the protractor to fill in my circle. So. Again, with these, you can't multiply by a percent, so I'm gonna need to change all of them to decimals, so this would just become 0 0.45, 0 0.23, 0 0.17, and then 0.15. Um, on this, if you guys want to use a calculator, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, so for the first one, if I do 360, times 0.45, I get 162. Um, there should technically be the degree symbol behind all of these. So this is 162 degrees. Then if I multiply 360 times 0.23, I get 82.8. Um, a rule with this, uh, you can use decimals, but just to make it easier, round up. Um, round your decimal to the nearest whole number. So in this case, the 0.8 is gonna make the 82 round up to 83%, or 83 degrees, not percent, sorry. Then I have 17% of 360. So again, multiplying 360 times 0.17. So I got 61.2. Uh, the two is just going to make it stay 61 degrees. Then I have 15% of 360. So 360 times 0.15 is 54 degrees. Um, all of your numbers should add up to 100 or 360. So really quickly, if I add 162 plus 83 plus 61, plus 54, I get uh, 360 degrees. So that's just another way to double check that you got it all right, is if they add back up to 360, that's what I need it to be at. So here is kind of the difficult part, and I can't necessarily do this on the computer. Um, I am just going to estimate as best as possible on here. Um, I do have the app on my phone and I know even if I turn the video on you guys can't see me using the phone you can just see the screen so to do this um, if you download the app it's going to have access to your camera which you can then put your protractor on top of the circle on the screen or in your case when you're doing your homework on top of your piece of paper um, I can post a video of that in a second um, just how to use that. Again, I know it's not going to be perfect. Mine's not going to be perfect. If you don't have a ruler to make a straight line, that's fine. Just do the best that you can. So if this circle is 360 degrees, I know 180 is going to be each half of it. Um, and you don't have to do this every time. I'm just kind of helping you out since you don't have a ruler. So if I were to draw a straight line down the middle, that would be a line of 180 degrees. Um, I'm going to put a point in the middle, which is your radius. So I'm going to start with this 162 degrees. So 
it doesn't matter where your straight line is and when, where your angle is as long as you're doing 162 degrees somewhere in your circle. So I'm gonna draw a straight line to start. And if I were to um, kind of imagine that my other straight line would be right here and that would be 180, if I were, um, I'm gonna make this section over here my 162 degrees, I can kind of imagine that it would be maybe over a little bit more, um, kind of like right here. And that's probably not the most accurate, but this is approximately 162 degrees. The straight would be 180, so it's pretty close to 180, but not quite a straight line. So this would be your 45% of carrots. Now looking at the 82%. So now I'm kind of just basing this off of um, some other stuff. If you wanna kind of think about right here, and this is not my line yet, but think of this. Um, we've talked about this being a right angle, which is 90 degrees. So 82 degrees would probably be a little bit in more right here. Um, not the 90 degree straight line. So this is approximately, again, I know this isn't accurate, 82 um, degrees or my 23% of, I forgot what the 23% was up, but I think it was broccoli. So I'm just gonna put broccoli, okay. Then I have 61 per, or degrees and then 54 degrees, which they're pretty close to each other. So I'm kind of just gonna eyeball it and make one section of this a little bit bigger than the other section. So this section um, can be my 61 degrees or my 17%. And I think this was beans. And then this can be my 54% or degrees, which was my 15% of other, okay? So again, I know it's not gonna be perfect. I know you guys are at home. I know you don't have a protractor. Download an app on your phone. It will help you immensely. All you have to do is slide it to the number that you found and it does the work for you. You just have to draw the line. So make sure to always label your circle graph with the categories. So the carrots, the broccoli, the other, the beans, and also the percent, um, and then give it a title. So this could just be like Dave veggies. Um, or if you wanna be more creative than that. Um, you do not have to put the degrees on the inside of your circle. So these you don't have to put. I just did to show you guys. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that as long as you put the percent and the number um, or the title of whatever it is. In this case, it was favorite veggie vegetables. Um, if you're talking about how many people like baseball, soccer, football, put 23% like baseball, 47% soccer, whatever the case is, put a word and a percentage in each one. If you want to be super creative, you are more than welcome to color them, um, different colors so you can see them. That's your choice online, that's generally how you see them. In your textbook, that's generally how you see them, just so the kind of wedges of the circle are separated some. So looking at one more example, and I know that's kind of a lot. So this is the last example that we're gonna talk about. It is talking about endangered species in the United States. Um, there are mammals are 68, birds are 77, reptiles are 14, and amphibians and 11. So this one is a little bit different because there are not percentages. Uh, it just tells you the number of mammals, the number of birds, reptiles, and amphibians. So in order to find the decimal that I need to multiply by 360 degrees, you're always going to multiply by 360 when dealing with circles. So in order to find those decimals, what I need to do is take um, and find the ratio of these things. So remember, a ratio is the amount out of the total. So for mammals, my ratio that I'm going to turn into a decimal would be 68 
out of 170. Birds, I'm just gonna write it over here. This would be out of 170, this would be out of 170, and this would be out of 170. Um, where I got the 170 is by adding 68, 77, 14, and 11 together um, and getting that total number. So because this isn't a percent, it shouldn't, it could end up being 100, but it's not necessarily going to be 100 since it's not talking about a percent, it's just talking about a number of species out of a total. So I'm going to divide these. Again, you can use a calculator. So I'm just gonna divide 68 by 170. So remember the number on top goes first. So it's 68 divided by 170. I know it's the smaller number and that's not what you were used to, but is a fraction. It's the top number divided by the bottom number. So this gives me 0.4. If I were to do birds, it would be 77 divided by 170, which gives me 0.45. Um, there's a lot more numbers behind that, but I just rounded it. Then reptiles is 14 out of 170, which is 0 0.082. Now I'm just gonna leave it at 0 0.08. And then amphibians is 11 divided by 170, and it is 0 0.04. Six, four. So I'm just going to round this to 0 0.06. Um, so now I have my decimals, but I still need to multiply those by 360 so I can get the degrees that I need to use to make my circle graph. So I ha have 0 0.4, I'm going to multiply it by 360. So this is 144 degrees. Again, I'm just using a calculator. Um, point Four five is 162 degrees. Then 0 0.08 is 28.8 degrees. I'm gonna round it to 29 degrees. And then 0 0.06 is 21.6 degrees, and I'm gonna round that to 22 degrees. So now I have all of the degrees that I'm going to use. And again, when you're doing this, use the app. Try the best that you can. If you have a protractor, great. If not, just think about halves like I kind of did on the last one and think about the information that you know. So again, line down the middle is 180. Each half is 180. Um, I'm gonna start with the 162 just because I, I did that on the last example actually. So I'm going to start by putting a dot in the middle or about the middle and drawing one straight line. I knew my other straight line would be exactly down and would be exactly 180, but I don't have 180, I have 162. So I'm gonna say that that's about 162, um, which was the birds, which um, I know we didn't find the percentages, but 45 or 0.45 if as a percent is 45%. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my other large number. So I did my 162, then I have 144. So this one is also going to look like this. And I'm just going to use this straight line again to help that. Um, 90 is straight across right here um, and then straight down would be 180 so since this is 140 it's going to be a little higher up on the other side um, than this one is so I'm going to go ahead and put it about right here um, it's less than 162 but greater than 90 so use those measurements to help you out as best you can again it's probably not 100 percent accurate but it's what we are working with. So this was mammals. And then the 0.4 is 40%. And then I have 29 degrees and 22 degrees. Again, I'm just gonna, one's a little bit bigger than the other. So I'm gonna say that this is the bigger half right here, which was reptiles. And it was 0 0.08, which is just 8%. 
And then I have amphibians, which was the smaller, which was 6%. So as you guys can see, this isn't perfect. Um, your homework has you making a couple of these. It also has you um, answering some questions about them as far as finding missing values, as far as if this is, if all of these are 30% and this is 10%, um, what is the missing part? So if you have questions, please reach out to me. Please know that I am not expecting this to be perfect. I'm not expecting your circle to be super perfect. I'm not expecting your angles to be perfect, but please make them as accurate as you can, whether that be using a protractor, the app, um, or kind of just doing what I did through the video and doing it the best that you can. Okay. If you guys have questions, please let me know. Please reach out to me. Again, I will leave in the comment the name of the app that I have used. Um, I may post another quick video on how to use the app just so you guys can see it. So if you have questions, let me know. Thanks guys. Have a great Wednesday.